Uh, it's difficult to grow if you cannot handle loneliness. It's the questioning of what to do next, this type of loneliness. Okay? And the more you want to move on, the more you spend time being lonely. Mm. This is like the type of loneliness like I'm also referring to. Some people might get it as loneliness means it's something negative. No, it is what it is, lonely. Master Shihong Yi has been on this journey of being the headmaster of the Shaolin Temple Europe for a long time now. And along that journey, self-admittedly, he's spoken about loneliness. It's been difficult for him. It's not been an easy path. So that's why I wanted to sit down and have a quiet conversation with Master Shihong Yi about loneliness, feeling lonely, how we might feel lonely, and what we can do about that loneliness. Today's video was powered and sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food with everything that your body needs. I'll talk about these a little bit later in the video. But before that, Master Shi Hong Yi's take on loneliness, his experience with loneliness, and how he's dealt with it. Let's dive into the episode. When we spoke in the last interview, you'd mentioned the word loneliness a few times. And I, I, I'm really interested to hear your definition and also your experience with it. Because I know for a fact, especially after COVID, it's been a huge, it's been like young men experiencing loneliness has been this huge um, issue, I would say, in society. I think even myself and my brothers have experienced it at times. But when you say loneliness, do you mean being alone or do you mean, do you mean like feeling lonely, like there was no one there for you? Does that make sense, the, the distinction in the two? So the loneliness I describe is not the way how I said it or mean it. It's not that I was lacking people around me. Okay, I'm constantly somehow involved in, in events, having training, all of these things. What makes it lonely is not even necessarily that I don't have a connection with other, let's say, soul brothers, soul sisters, where we know that there is a support. The loneliness is in regards to the path that you are walking. Yeah? Being, being inside with you guys, for example, for the last two, three days. Beyond the fact of that we are physically close, but I think I feel there is even another connection, another layer beyond that. That layer of, okay, you could also be like a brother. A brother with another job, with another vision, mm. okay? So, of course, there is also this type of connection. But the loneliness, I say, is, yeah, but sometimes you're also going, you're going to be go back to UK once we meet, the connection is back. But then there is still that loneliness of it's your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's the questioning of what to do next, this type of loneliness. Okay. And the more you want to move on, the more you spend time being lonely. Mm. This is like the type of loneliness like I'm also referring to. I'm lucky I've got my brothers and sisters because we feel like we're on the same purpose, the same path. And I've never felt lonely on that journey. And then I'd say recently, I've had people come into my life that have been like brothers and sisters to me as well on the path of, uh, of doing that. So was it that you found people in those, on, on that same journey or same path or supported you that, that made you feel less lonely? Yes. So um, this is actually more or less why we have this community right now. So more or less, the people you find right now in the Shaolin Temple Europe, this is, this is the core. Yeah, this is the one that influenced me the most. These are the ones I have, um, I have some impact on. Let's say like this, okay? And this constellation, it's good. Because like this temple, this community is the babies, all of our childs, okay? in regards to the temple, but in regards to life. Each one is also lonely. I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. Today's video was sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food with everything that your body needs. 
when I fly around the world to do these documentaries, when I threw, flew out to the Shaolin Temple Europe to make this project with my film crew, it's very difficult to get a nutritionally complete source of food with everything, my protein, uh, nutrients, all that kind of stuff from a great source and it's hard to find that. So to know that I can reach in my bag and grab a bottle of fuel as a plant-based athlete and somebody who's got a really busy life has been an absolute game changer. So if you want to find out more, head to the link in the description where you can find their meals, uh, their drinks, their protein, all that kind of great stuff with the link down below. But let's dive back into this amazing episode with Master Shahangi. This was the funny thing when you were speaking about yesterday and I had this this picture for a video or documentary. Um, we, di we didn't go with it, but there is, there, there's probably a highlight around it, but that almost like lone wolf mentality. And we've spoken about connection and having community and support. And, you know, with the Shaolin Temple, you have that in a huge, huge way. But then I've, al I've always found comfort in, it is on me. And my, everything for me, my internal experience is on me. Whether I'm happy, whether I'm sad, whether I achieve success, whether I have good relationships, like I always find the, a, a level of comfort in going, it's on you and you are the one to blame if it goes wrong, you are the one to, to praise if it succeeds, whatever. But that has always been a huge thing to me. I mean, is that something that you, you, you have as well, some kind of mentality, or is it all based in community? No, I mean, these are, of course, the thoughts that also like fill up my mind. Mm. But that's exactly it, yeah, this internal dialogue. Yeah. The more you want to develop, the more dialogue you will have to have. Yeah. This is, this is what it is. And, and even while being surrounded in a community, but at the end, when you're doing something, when you do your training, when you do your office work, it's still like you are alone and you observe yourself in which state you are actually. You know, so, so this more or less, uh, some people might get it as loneliness means it's something negative. No, it is what it is, lonely. Yeah. So, and if, if you think that I can't handle loneliness, uh, it's difficult to grow. Mm. Yeah, it's difficult to grow if you cannot handle loneliness. And that's really reassuring to hear because like I've had the stages of loneliness where I felt like this is on me, it's on my back, I, I'm going to do this and this is the path I want to go in. And then I've on the, on the flip side of that, I've realized that also, and this is the other message I want to put out there, is that there's huge, huge growth in connection and community as well. And it's like you need to be able to do both. You, you, you need... you. That's for me personally. Like I don't want to stick to being a one-man band. I don't. I don't believe in self-made. I don't think that you can ever do it fully by yourself. I don't. I, I personally don't think people have had true, true success without at least standing on the giants before them who who paved the path and most likely circumstance with the people who were around them at the time as well who helped them get where, however it was. Um, I've always, but I've only just really had that over the last three, three or four years where I've started to really try and invest in other people and have them help me on my path, have them, um, you know, tell me when I'm wrong and, you know, try and take that on the chin and be part of a community and inspire each other. And I started to really speak about, you know, getting mentors and having basically what you do, like, try and find masters and learn from them whether it and it could be anything like i think some people go well i'm a filmmaker so i have to have a mentor in filmmaking but like to me a, a master could be my, my mother you know she could be great at a certain thing and i she could be the master for me in certain in certain things and i'll take those lessons that i find extremely valuable from her it and you know it could be Literally, it could be a relationship, someone who's got a great relationship and I could take their knowledge and wisdom on relationships and, you know, maybe discard the things I don't think are, are growthful for me in business. I, I think there's that thing of like learning from other people. It could be books as well. Like, you know, the stories that I love autobiographies. Um, 
They could be books. I should ref refer them to read your book, actually. Coming out in English soon, hopefully. Yeah. It's, it's going to happen, but it takes some time. What's the, what's, the, what's the book about? Is it all autobiographical or...? I actually had some conversation with your brother before. I don't even know how to call it. So initially the idea was, like I said, many people have different ways of how they can get in contact with something. Some through the social media, some through a movie, some through like podcasts and other people through reading. So that there is a book was not like I wanted to have a book. It was just a logical consequence of having the possibility if somebody likes to read in order to get to all these topics that we are sharing through the channel, for example, then there's also like a book about it. So meaning everything in the last 36 years that I regard as, because of course the book is limited in that case, yeah, I had like 288 pages. So for 288 pages, this is what I have put in from the last 36 years, 36 years, condensed into these pages. Yeah. Of course, it's limited in knowledge, but it still is enough. It's enough to, to get it. Okay. And this was like just the point about um, why, why I'm happy in a way that it also manifested, let's, let's, let's say like this. And there you go. I hope uh, that has helped some people out there. Loneliness is not something that is nice. It's not something to live with uh, constantly. And it is something that we need to embrace and understand and be okay, okay to be alone. But the feeling for me of loneliness, of feeling very lonely, is not something I like. Um, so one of the things I do is I make myself great company. And that's me. I make myself great company. Uh, when I'm alone by myself, I start to enjoy it. I start to embrace it. I start to like it. But you also do need to step out and make friends and create good friendships and close connections that maybe you don't speak to every single day, but you know are there if you did need to reach out. Um, so you don't feel so alone in this chaotic world. That's just my opinion. Today's video was powered by Huel. Uh, if you want to find out more, head to the link in the description. They are absolutely game-changing. I pretty much live on them. And I'm just about to go on a flight now, actually, to New York. And I've got two bottles of this and two of their ready meals ready to go. So I don't have to eat plant, uh, I don't have to eat plain food. I can eat plant-based food with great protein sources and all the nutrients that I need. So it's absolutely fantastic. Head to the link in the description. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been a really crazy year. We are working on something very, very special with Master Shekhan Yi. Um, it's going to be a long time before you hear about it, but please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We are both really excited about it. I was just on a call with Master Shang Yi yesterday. And um, this is, in my opinion, going to change the world, possibly. Like, it's really, really special. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but um, when the announcement finally comes, I think people are going to be shocked. It's really something special. And also, guys, Master Shehang Yi, we have some more episodes and some more documentaries coming out with him, so keep your eyes peeled. But I want to know what other guests you want on the show, so please comment down below. Who do you want to hear from? Who do you recommend? Um, they don't have to be have a billion followers on Instagram. You know, it could be anybody. I just really am interested in speaking to interesting experts, philosophers, um, religious figures celebrities, um, athletes, whatever it is, you know, people who really are inspiring people, comment them down below. Come and give me a message on Instagram as well. Let's start a conversation off because this year is all about you guys and we want to make sure we're providing the right, ho the right guests on the show. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed and productive day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. When life is getting hard, there is no alternative for me than to just keep going is not just about the physicality and the fact of that we are that we are training martial art movements in the first place it is also to condition myself to a certain vibe that i'm carrying throughout this life